Let's take a look at whether Hg2Cl2 is soluble or insoluble, and we're talking about in water. So Hg2Cl2 is called mercury-1 chloride, and it's kind of a strange compound. Whenever we have mercury-1, we'll have this Hg2, and it's 2 plus. You can almost think of this as a polyatomic ion where you have this Hg2 2 plus. It always stays together. So then you have your chlorine, which is 1 minus, and you need two of those to balance the charge. So if this were to dissolve into ions, we'd have Hg2 2 plus. That would stay together. So if we look at our solubility rules, we're seeing that chlorides, they are soluble in general, with a few exceptions, silver, lead, and there's that mercury 1 ion, Hg2 2 plus. So because of that, Hg2Cl2, mercury 1 chloride, is insoluble in water. So that's going to be insoluble. If we had mercury 2 chloride, that would be this Hg2 plus. We have a Cl minus, so we need two of those. So this mercury 2 chloride, HgCl2, that's not an exception. So this here, mercury 2 chloride, that's going to be soluble. And we can even look that up on a solubility table just to check and to make sure. So we find mercury 2, that's that Hg2 plus, and then we're looking for chloride, that's down here. So we go up and over S. So Hg2Cl2, mercury 2 chloride, is soluble. But this mercury 1, Hg2Cl2, is insoluble. So to recap, we have this Hg2Cl2. This is mercury 1 because we have two mercury atoms. And the whole thing has a 2 plus charge, so each one is 1 plus. Mercury 1 chloride, Hg2Cl2, insoluble. Mercury 2 chloride, where we have this 2 plus on just one mercury atom, is soluble in water. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.